All right. So coordinate geometry. I think it's a part of. Good evening, Piko and Gayatri, everyone. I think it's a part of all of your midterm syllabus. Might not be midterm syllabus, but obviously this will be this chapter will be a part of your syllabus because in the finals you know that the entire syllabus is coming, right? Let's get started. So first to understand this, like what is the application when you say, "Ma'am, why are we studying this? What is the application of coordinate geometry in our real world?" First, I'll show you the application. Why this chapter? Why is it important to study this chapter? You can see this is the world map over here on the screen, right? And If I find out India, India is highlighted in pink. You all would know that, right? Come on, you're tenth graders, right? So map and all, सबको समझ में आता है India कहाँ है, right? Highlighted in pink. Let's suppose I have to locate a particular place in India, right? So its position. How do we say that? Generally, in geography के terms में क्या कहते हैं? Twenty seven degrees, twenty seven point zero two three eight degrees north and seventy four point two one seventy nine degrees east. Correct? That's how we say it. So This place is nothing. That's basically Rajasthan. Now, if I have to locate a particular town in Rajasthan, it's here, right? So let's locate this town now. This is the town that I was showing you in the map, right? When we go deeper into this, now we see this is the town. Now, these are the four houses here, A, B, C, and D, right? In this town of Rajasthan. If I have to find out the exact location of these houses, that's where that's where the Cartesian A coordinate system comes into picture. Yes, Vidarshini. Of course, I remember. Yeah. Yes, Samyukta. All right. Hi, Meena. Yes. So this is what here we have two axes. One is the x-axis. This vertical one is the y-axis. Horizontal one you can see that's the x-axis. Vertical one is the x-axis. And you can see over here this is what where these two axes are intersecting. They are meeting. That point is called the origin. Its coordinates are zero comma zero. Yes, Karta. Wow, wow, great. Yes, you all know. And basically, this is the x dash. This is x dash. This represents what? क्या represent करता है? ये represent करता है negative of x axis. Similarly, this is y dash. ये क्या represent करता है? ये represent करता है negative of y axis. Correct? So axes दो होते हैं. They are perpendicular. जिस point पे intersect करते हैं, that is the origin. उसके coordinates zero comma zero हैं. Correct. Negative of x-axis, positive of x-axis. We all know that. Now there are four quadrants, right? This is the first quadrant. This is second quadrant, third quadrant, and this is the fourth quadrant. Correct? ये समझ आ रहा है अभी? See, ये बहुत basic है. Coordinate geometry के बारे में. This is very basic. You all have learned this in your previous grade. सब ने पढ़ा है grade eighth में, ninth में, right? All right. Let's move ahead. Now let's locate the houses on graph, right? That's what we were doing. Yes. So this is what here we can see. These are the four four coordinates. I mean four positions of the houses. If you carefully observe this, this is what here we are representing six comma six. That's the location. That's the location. I'll tell you what does this mean. Six comma six. Yes, Shruti, you have missed a few of this. This. Let's suppose if I ask you here, find out the positions of A, B, and C. What will you say? Here A. If you if I ask you to find out its position, what it is going to be? You see, all of you know what abscissa is. What ordinate is? Whenever we write a coordinate, that's x comma y. What is the abscissa? Abscissa kya hota hai? Abscissa hota hai x coordinate. Ko ap abscissa kehte hain. And y kya hota hai? That is the y coordinate is called the ordinate. Ordinate ka matlab y coordinate. Abscissa means x coordinate. Clear? Ye simple hai. Yes, Shita, T A, Shiva. Sorry, Samyukta. Yes. Ab a ke coordinates if I ask you to find out, you would say that first we write down the abscissa. We write down x coordinate. So you can see. Here it is intersecting. That's going to be four, right? And y se, yahan par five aega. So four comma five. Correct. That's the one. Yes, Shruti. All the very best. And axis of C. What is the axis of C? Look at C here. X axis se, right? Here it is three, and here it is minus five. So that's going to be what? This is going to be three comma. Minus five. So what will I write here? I will say that axis of C is this, and ordinate is going to be minus five. Similarly, B ke coordinates. So x axis say minus four, and this is minus six. Minus four comma minus six. Right? Ye wala hoga. Not minus three comma minus six. Special, I think it clearly visible nahi hoga. Right? Screen pe. So minus four comma minus six would be the one. So here we have answers. Yes, minus four comma minus six. These are the axis of ordinate for C, and that's four comma five. फर्स्ट कम्स एक्स दिस देन वाई यस आयुष्मान पहले एक्स आता है फिर वाई आता है ब्रैकेट इज कंपलसरी राइट व्हेन एवर यू आर राइटिंग अ कोऑर्डिनेट ब्रैकेट इज कंपलसरी दैट्स हाउ वी वी आई मीन दैट्स हाउ दी दैट्स व्हाट द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ अ कोऑर्डिनेट इज 
डिस्टेंस ऑफ पॉइंट ए फ्रॉम एक्स एक्सिस एंड वाई एक्सिस पॉइंट ए का डिस्टेंस एक्स एक्सिस से और वाई एक्सिस से निकालना है यस फर्स्ट लेट्स फाइंड आउट द पॉइंट सो ऑब्वियसली द पॉइंट ओवर हियर इज फोर कॉमा थ्री सो डिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस पॉइंट फ्रॉम दी एक्स एक्सिस एक्स एक्सिस से कितना डिस्टेंस दूर है एक्स एक्सिस से कितना डिस्टेंस दूर है यू कैन सी हियर ये एक्स एक्सिस है कितना दूर है ये एक्स एक्सिस से वॉट इज द डिस्टेंस ऑफ दिस पॉइंट फ्रॉम दी एक्स एक्सिस एक्स एक्सिस से डिस्टेंस है इसका थ्री यूनिट्स राइट और वाई एक्सिस ये रहा वाई एक्सिस से कितनी दूर है ये y axis से you can see this distance is फोर you would say y axis से फोर units right x axis से थ्री units and y axis से फोर units yes clear correct correct yes फोर कॉमा थ्री इज द पॉइंट एक्स एक्सिस से थ्री यूनिट्स वाई एक्सिस से फोर यूनिट्स ट्रस्ट मी ऐसे क्वेश्चन एग्जाम में बहुत बार आते हैं और यहाँ पे स्टूडेंट्स मिस्टेक करते हैं बिकॉज दे थिंक जो एक्स कॉर्डिनेट है वही डिस्टेंस होगा एक्स एक्सिस के लिए जो वाई कॉर्डिनेट है वही डिस्टेंस होगा वाई एक्सिस से बट अगर आप ड्रॉ करो एंड देन यू ऑब्जर्व दिस दिस इज गोइंग टू बी डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन इज से जो कॉर्डिनेट है इट इज लाइंग ऑन दी वाई एक्सिस इफ इट इज लाइंग ऑन दी वाई एक्सिस वॉट डू वी नो If something is lying on the y-axis, first let me show you. If something is lying on the y-axis, this is x-axis, this is y-axis. If I have to locate a point, uh, let's say I have to locate zero comma four. Where would you locate this? You would say somewhere here, ma'am. Here it will be zero comma four. If it is lying on the y-axis, that means x coordinate will be zero. Correct? X coordinate will be zero. Correct. so i just wanted to give you a conceptual clarity over here so that you don't mug up these kind of questions so x coordinate should be zero that means m plus 4 m plus 4 over here should be equal to zero so from here i'll get the value of m that's going to be minus 4 right so i can say one thing so since it is lying on the y axis the coordinate in general form is going to be 0 comma y so value of m is going to be minus 4 correct i have the value of m let's put it here In this, what will you get? Zero comma minus six. That's going to be the coordinate for A. And we got you covered. You can see that with the type of sessions that we are coming up here. And please like, share, and subscribe if you are liking these videos. Share करो अपने friends के साथ, अपने school groups में. If you feel that these sessions fruitful हैं, helpful हैं आपके लिए, आपको इनसे benefit होता है. And do subscribe the channel.